François Boujon de Lestang, thank you very much for being with us on WPC TV. You are a distinguished former ambassador of France to the United States, and you now have your own consulting firm, FPE International. Um, let me ask you a simple question. As an observer of French foreign policy, how do you find it now? There is one characteristic with French foreign policy. It is its continuity. And I think it's... it's it's remarkable in a way because there are no so many countries where you find such a consensus in the general public about foreign policy. God knows that in France there is no consensus on a number of issues. But I think it is the heritage of General de Gaulle and of President François Mitterrand to have really erected a kind of national consensus on foreign policy. The great advantage of this is that when the government changes, when there is an alternance, as we say in our French political jargon, French pol foreign policy is not really affected. Or if it is affected, it is only marginally affected. Okay. I find great continuity again between the foreign policy of this government and of the previous government. Well, the previous government, if I remember correctly, uh, President Sarkozy said that he was changing the, the France-Afrique policy. Did that, was that just uh, an illusion? No, I don't think it was an illusion. I think he seriously intended to change the France-Afrique uh, uh, approach, let's say, to uh, African policy. Uh, you hear very similar things said by Monsieur Hollande today, very similar. And even if they differ, and even if there is no sympathy between the two men, as everybody knows, uh, the continuity of the policy is great. The intervention in Mali was decided by President François Hollande for good reasons and with a very good timing and you cannot rebuild history, but if Sarkozy had been in power, I think he would have acted in the same way. You could see, by the way, that the opposition parties applauded the intervention in Mali. In terms of turning to Europe, I mean, there's always been the, Fran the Franco-German motor of Europe, but in terms of foreign policy and military intervention in particular, it's really been a Franco-British duo. What is happening in terms of the relationship between France and Germany, France and Britain for that matter? Well, you're absolutely right about the engine of uh, Europe being France and Germany. And this is something that has been going through the decades with uh, Giscard and Schmidt, De Gaulle and Adenauer, uh, and so on, and Mitterrand and Kohl. Um, today what has changed is not so much this entente between France and Germany, that the relative strength of the two economies. There is an, an economic imbalance yeah. that has settled in, and that certainly affects the effectiveness of the tandem. But if you talk to the general public everywhere and to other European governments, and even to the Germans, I've been struck by this when I traveled to Germany recently, uh, the Germans are really hoping that France will be able to repair its economy because they need France to lead Europe together. And I find a number of Germans telling me this with great conviction and with no schadenfreude whatsoever. What is France doing to regroup and to rebuild itself? Because we need France to lead Europe together. So I think it, we're going through hard times economically, but that the alliance is extremely strong between France and Germany. It goes through the generations and it, it, it is very strong, it will prevail. Britain is a different proposition. Britain is the only country with France in Europe that is serious about defense. The other countries, as you know, Germany first and foremost, uh, devote much less resources to their defense apparatus and do not want to be involved on foreign theaters. With Britain, uh, we have been able to develop a good degree of military cooperation. We have been together on a number of foreign theaters from Afghanistan to Libya to others. And uh, it is only with Britain that we are able to build what I hope is the nucleus of a future European defense. A final question. Uh, you mentioned the cooperation between the British and the French in Libya and Afghanistan. So but in the end, that cooperation has to be helped out logistically at least, mm -hmm. by the Americans. Yes. Is France disappointed by the foreign policy of, the recent foreign policy of the Obama administration? Not really, no, we're not disappointed. I think the Obama administration has done a number of good things in foreign policy. They've not always been successful.
because the world is a difficult and dangerous place. It's not Obama that I would fault if, for instance, the reset of uh, US-Russia relations has not worked during the first term, or if the peace has not been signed between Israel and Palestine. He's done a number of good things. And when we really needed US help in some foreign operations, for instance, whether it is Libya or even Mali or the Central African Republic, we do get U.S. assistance. They're not turning their backs on us. They may have their own preoccupations, their own concerns, their own desire to extract themselves from the Middle East and to pivot toward Asia Pacific, but I don't I don't agree with those who say that the U.S. is abandoning Europe. I think this doesn't make any sense. The U.S. is there when we need them. And as John Kerry pointed out, France is America's oldest ally. On that note, Councillor <laughs> Boujon-Vestang, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you.